Hello and welcome back to another episode of Diaries of Death. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the World of Warcraft Hardcore Dead is Dead uh, series. Uh, we have uh, left off in Swamp of Sorrows and I ventured back to the uh, Strangathorn Vale in order to <clears throat> do a couple of quests and I thought this one here is particularly interesting because not only are there three quests, I already started a bit of them, uh, four actually, but it is also particularly difficult because there's a huge camp of, um, of trolls down there. So join me when we're trying to get through that. In terms of equipment, uh, I ran Razorfing uh, Downs uh, off screen. We got ourselves a new wand, uh, which is going to be helpful as well as a new belt with a mage uh, sash. Uh, so we're pretty decked out at the moment. Or well, shall I say, we upgraded our equipment slightly. Uh, Self-buffed, uh, 1700 hit points isn't too bad at all. So what we want to do is we want to get uh, Skull Splitter Hunters and Skull Splitter Berserkers. Which are a little bit more difficult uh, to find because they are very deep inside uh, this area and I can already say I can already say that uh, this year is pretty much dead that zone I've seen a lot of populations of people dying here mainly because there are patrols of uh, three there is even an elite here, and it's a very, very tightly packed zone. So I figured that makes for good entertainment to showcase this. Fabulous. So hunters and headhunters hunters and berserkers i don't think that we can take all of uh, them uh, we might delay uh, that until later but we can nonetheless um, do the other quests i just realized that it is eight hunters on top of that and that might be just too much to grind so We'll just uh, get these cool splitter tasks and the necklaces and call it a day. In particular, the hunters are an absolute pain in the rear. <clears throat> trying to talk myself into it, maybe it's the right call, since we're anyways here. Alright, let's give it a try, why not? What I hate about hunters is we gotta deal with their pet as well. And if you kill the pet first, the hunter just resummons a new one. that they're doing a fair amount of damage but the pets are dealing just as much as they do. So yeah, every hunter in itself is effectively a double pull. to make matters worse they are not only hunters but also beast masters and beast masters not even relevant for our quest Watch 
the patrol here carefully. Yeah, that's a Beastmaster. Damn right. These guys don't even belong to the quest. Unfortunate. this path up here because there are a couple of uh, berserkers up there and I also need to maneuver. That's another hunter. his uh, way to our first that's impressive. see quite a few uh, enemies clustered up. So and that's what makes the trolls so dangerous. They are just incredibly clustered up. We need a few berserkers, that's fine. Unlike berserkers in other RPGs, these guys know when to flee and are running away. Okay, so one more berserker and we got a few more headhunters and a few more hunters. Single pulling these guys out there. Headhunters are also pain. I'm so happy uh, and glad that we got our frost barrier. him so once he's frozen he will need to come a little bit closer also I want to pull them back because they start running away and I don't want them to trigger additional mobs in there oftentimes the trick is really to make sure that uh, things are not running away Might be a double pull. It's not. Very good. Respawns are starting to happen behind us, so we gotta be careful there.
job. This guy goes down. And we're almost done with the headhunters. Continuing to single pull these guys. Might not look like much, but uh, having the right pulling technique and making sure that you are playing safe goes a very long way. This here is how it looks like when you're playing it safe. Disaster videos of people dying is what it looks like when you are unfortunately not doing that. Good, one more berserker. Back here. Right there is where the elite is at. So, that's another one down. Now, all we need is a few more hunters and we should be Gucci. All right, I re-cleared the area down here. Fast forwarded that for you guys. Oftentimes it's also important to kind of have an anchor point where you can kite and maneuver. And the way that I'm doing that is choosing a spot uh, that uh, works out. There is a hunter. And the arena master just started the treasure. All right, there was another hunter over here. So we'll have enough hunters. So annoying. Okay, he is the main attraction in one of the quests as well, Anarathan. Um, the one where we're needing to do the hunter, uh, get the hunter for. Uh, I think we have enough uh, space here to hide him. make sure the other hunter is not adding an already challenging fight. Once 
once your f friends are gone, you have nothing on us. Not even reaching us. There we go. Collective broken armor. And uh, take the spoils of the victor. Good job. Good, let's try to do the other hunters. on top of another hunter then it starts becoming if needed to use mana crystal there Let's regenerate some mana. Unfortunately, our in combat mana regeneration is gone. Are you kidding me? Another wandering patrol. Just want to disengage, man. Oh, boy. Good, we're slowly regenerating mana. Uh, well, it's that panther is sitting it out and that's exactly why you need a little bit space to maneuver and do not panic Back in action. Let me clear the route out just in case. Good, we cleared uh, the way out. Now it's just a matter of getting the other hunters. Uh, I think two more, right? I think so. guys are also good for deadly. The 550 deadly mob in all of Azeroth and that late in the game tells you that a lot of people here are dying because of them. Or them. They are also good It's a beast master, not a hunter, but we got another hunter here. Just need to make sure that we're not double pulling. All right, after this guy, we're peace out. Oh, 
nice, and they even drop upgraded health potions. Oh lord, that's great. Cool. Very good. We're out of here. Let's try it in the quests. actually take these boots because uh, they have a fair amount of stamina and so far we haven't had any problems with intelligence me to go there again but that i think i'll do that another uh time when we're a little bit uh, higher in level uh that was enough excitement for uh, for one day all right next quest hand in fantastic now that's an elite quest that however could work level 50 quests so rather not okay and I think we're fine for now yeah we got Plenty of quests here, actually. I am always surprised just how deep the roster of quests in Stranglethorn is. They keep on coming. Good. Well, let's take a good look. Plenty of stuff here on the shoreline, which we will do. Then something up here. Plenty of stuff up here. Yeah. That, that is uh, more than enough uh, to keep us busy. Matter of fact, I think we can reach 43 off of it. And then we're going to go to a different zone. Um, yeah, that, that makes sense. All right, I fast forwarded a bit because I found the quest play not very exciting. Uh, we did most of the Buccaneers, then stuff and the Naga quest here. This one, however, is exciting because uh, we are going to fight against quite a few gorillas. Uh, and we're helping cure the Stranglethorn fever. Where do we... Hmm. Oh boy, and I've uh, sold all of the gorilla things. Never mind, back to uh, grinding. All right, after an intense grinding down of all of uh, the apes and a uh, massive reduction of their population, we now do have 10, even 12 gorilla fangs. So, time for us to hand this in. If I recall correctly, uh, there were three or four enemies spawning, so this is going to be a tough one.
after these uh, three there uh, boss, the Uber Gorilla is going to come. Okay, never mind. Five gorillas. <laughs> I don't see how I can win this. Not realistically. Maybe with a group of two. We got him. Whether or not that's going to at least net him, uh, net us his heart, it's a different story. Oh wow! Yeah, I knew that this quest was tough, but. I was hoping we would be able to at least get a little bit closer uh, to rescuing them. Three? Yeah, I can handle that. Four, maybe, uh, with a little bit more room to maneuver. But five? That's a lot. Heart of Mok. Well, Konga is not Mok. Alright, never mind. Uh, I think that's not going to work out. Let's move to the next quest. Good, we're getting to beach where we're dealing with a few undeads. Zenzo Hunters as well as Zenzo Nagas. the game here is to get mixtures and I think we had Chucky's huge ring in the middle of this and then two additional ones in a different Naga camp. Good. Good. Let's go with Zenzio the Outcast. 
who is successfully being pulled by someone else. Good job. I don't think that the ring of Chunky is going to necessarily be on this guy. Oh. Oh no. That other guy didn't manage to get him down. <sighs> Players, man. All right, where is he? Back there. How about, dude, we're just teaming up and that'll be fun. Wouldn't that be a better idea? a shaman who is afraid of going into melee because uh, Zenzil might whoop his ass. <laughs> to be fair though, uh, Zenzil is deep orange for him, so that's going to be tough. Wasn't that bad, was it? All right, where's that ring? Good. I'll grind that uh, with him and just help him. He, at the end of the day, he's in my guild. All right, just to give you a little update, we are rocking it. Hausen uh, and I have teamed up, and although I wanted to use uh, this playthrough mainly to solo uh, play, there's nothing wrong with the team there. I can tell you it's a night and day difference. Whenever I quest alone, I gotta be really careful. There is so much more uh, margin for error.
simply because you have a second person to bail you out, you're just in a safer position all along. It's important to not get cocky though. playing an enhancement shaman that's a tough pill to swallow uh one of my very first characters in world of warcraft effectively was an enhancement shaman i just know how much damage they can deal when the wind fury uh told them crits but equally they feel like paper based man uh once you're getting low you have so little tools to uh, to get out of it your heals are getting interrupted and typically you're taking more damage than He's using engineering. Well played, actually. This guy used the grenade. He used a lot of cooldowns. So that was not bad. Clearing this whole place here even faster than the respawn can happen. Yeah, when his wind fury crits. He's taking away half of uh, the enemy's health in just one go. Problem is, if he doesn't, and we're oftentimes standing there waiting for things to happen. And his margin for error is not very uh, high, so I do understand why he wants to group up. Alright, we're rocking yet another quest. What's well, going to be interesting? Uh, this would have been, uh, by the way, one of uh, the quests that's, of course, harder, as in high level and happening in a cave, so naturally not the easiest environment. But with the two of us, it shouldn't be a big problem. Good, whenever I'm inside, I prefer to use ice arm, uh, frost arm mode, even though I do have a partner with me.
Very good. So all we need to do now is get out of here alive. And we're good. Still hasn't have even had seen one drop. Let's get our new friend his three drops. Got a rare one there. That's actually a very nice sword. <laughs> that good but chromatic resistance is, sel uh, is seldom anyways how far is our friend one out of three are you kidding me man we're killing him and he's not getting any drops Surely we're getting out of here. Playstyle difference, like the difference in, in classes is uh, huge. Enhance the shaman is definitely having a much harder time compared to Frost Mage. The enemies don't de don't even reach us ever. good so fast forward and we're back uh, with our other quest good work continuing our grind for the zenzel mixtures here let me 
fast forward that because we're just going to be a bit uh, careful. Alright, we're done with our grouping and we managed to do all of the quests, uh, which was good. Like I said, uh, more an exception uh, than the rule, but I figured I might as well showcase a bit of a group uh, play. Haven't had that in that playthrough yet. And I definitely need to sell stuff. So we got a lot of cleaning up to do. I will do a few things behind the scenes now. And this is really uh, typically what I cut out of uh, the YouTube uh, videos, but I just wanted to showcase it anyway. So we're going to trade in the quests that will uh, hopefully give us a little bit more experience. And then we do have a few things uh, that need uh, working through. Number one, we got enough gold to afford a horse which is going to be great because we're no longer a peasant that needs to walk but we are essentially upper class from this point onwards great so that's number one number two we need to learn new bandages so Arathi highlands uh, just need to fly there and do that number three we need to uh, spend some time with alchemy and eventually also learn uh, one or two new potions Number four, cooking. Uh, that uh, is a quest that leads us to Tenaris, where I will uh, go as well. And number five, there are a couple of trade-in quests like the Item of Power in Duskwallow Marsh, for instance, uh, where we need to go as well. I'm carrying this around with me for ages now. So that's not cool. Uh, that definitely needs to uh, get out. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, with that, I would... Uh, dear viewer until the next episode uh, where we are likely going to go to Tenaris simply because it's a fun place and we have uh, seen enough Strang of Thorn done really almost everything there is uh, to do in this place thanks a lot for watching appreciate uh, your time here and have a good one bye bye